Good morning, my people. And as you all know, this is Tuko Farms. And as I always say, it's on my channel where you learn how to breed black soldier fry from eggs to maturity. And it's also on my channel where you learn new tips and tricks on how to breed them perfectly. And today is the 16th of December 2021. And the main reason of making this short video clip is to talk on what most people neglect. I mean, what most people just shun off, what they don't look like, look at in the aspect of breeding black sugar fly lava. And what is it that we're talking about? I mean, humidity. I mean, the relative humidity. First of all, what is humidity? We all know that humidity is a quantity of water that is present in the air. We cannot see it, but we can feel it. So how do we feel it that there's no water inside inside the air? That is when we begin to notice that our body begins to dry quickly, our lips begins to dry quickly, and this low humidity affects our lava negatively. And as we all know, we are already in dry season, especially here in Nigeria, where we are experiencing cold weather, resulting into low relative humidity conditions and when we talk about this relative humidity it brings about negative effects in our breeding facility both inside our insectarium and larvarium because low humidity increase mortality in many insects not just only black soldier fly in many insects low humidity increase a lot of mortality and if you and that is if you study other insects you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about so what usually happen when you have low humidity in your breeding facilities number one number one you begin to experience low arch weight i'm talking about the eggs lead now you begin to experience low arch weight and sometimes no arching at all because your eggs have dried out especially eggs that are laid on the surface of your eggies or head traps yes why the eggs laid inside the eggs or eggies will still do better i mean we still be intact and that is for some time but if care is not taken it will also dry out and the eggs will not hatch so therefore try to have a good percentage of humidity in your insectarium then number two that is for a larva we begin to have a immortality you see them not growing very well you see them not growing very fast they grow slowly it takes them a longer time for the lava to turn to pupa it takes the pupa a longer time to turn to pupa and when they finally emerge into fly they come out weak thereby dying before their time that is why i always tell people that if you don't have time for your flies and lava don't even bother yourself. Don't even think of trying to breed there because when the problem starts, it can wipe away all our flies and lovers, bringing us back to square one, which will make us decide that BSFL, I mean the black soldier fly lava, is very difficult. Whereas it is very simple as ABC when you play by the rules. That is it. Very easy. Very simple as ABC. When you play by the rules most people have never breed black soldier fly lava in dry season as i'm telling you i've gone through different season more than eight times so i know what i'm saying i know what i'm saying very well i remember when i was in high school our ballet teacher used to tell us that insect takes in oxygen through the spiracle yes what do we mean by spiracle? It's like we human beings takes, us, um, takes oxygen through our nose. Yes, a spiracle is, is how the flies, insect, breathe. And when they do that, they simultaneously lose water. The more they breathe, the more they lose water at the same time. That is it. The more they breathe, the more they lose water at the same time. So, now imagine they are losing water and we are also in the dry season. And the humidity is also very low so what are we going to do what are we going to do to just to increase the humidity we just need to you know spray them water 
spray your flies water i don't put water inside my love cage as you all know i spray them water yes i spray them water just to let them suck in water to give them energy to prolong their life for a very short time in as much as they can lay eggs then they can die anytime they want to die that is just it so but if you don't feed them water and number two your immunity is also very low you see your flies dying you see your flies dying quickly when they are not supposed to die so number three most people who claim to be breeders of black soldier fly lover don't even have a meter that is it they don't have a meter to measure the humidity they don't have the meter to measure the temperature they just keep guessing they just keep guessing which is very bad like now if you come to my breeding place you at least i have almost five meters that is it yes i have almost almost five agrometers because if i have only one it might it, it can get spoiled and i will not even notice that it's not working very well but if you have two three four five two it's okay yes two is okay you know that this one is not working oh this one is working that's just it that is just it now to talk on how to increase our humidity to talk on how to increase our humidity there are many ways in which we can increase our humidity that is it we have different ways number one some people pour water on the floor to increase the humidity yes and that is the fattest way of increasing the humidity but when the water dries out especially during this period you will end up having a low humidity that is it you get back to low humidity if your humidity is 30 percent 20 percent you pour water on the floor it can rise to 50 55 60 percent but when the water dries out it go back to 20. so are you going to keep on pouring water on the floor it's left to you so Number two, some people like me just keep some bucket of water inside the breeding room where the flies can't get to and where the lovers can't even have access to. That is it. But this procedure takes a long time for you to have a very good humidity. It can take you two, three, four, five days. But when you get to the right humidity, it stays there. So far, you don't open your window too much. You don't open the door too much. That is it. The immunity will escape. That is it. We escape. So the water will only begin to dry out. Then you begin to top it. You keep on topping your water so that it won't dry off. Then number three is by introducing what we call humidifier. That's it. I also use humidifier. I only use the humidifier during this time of during this uh, dry season. You can introduce humidifier. It's also one of the fastest way to increase the humidity in your building facilities. That is it. So right now, let me show you the type of humidity humidifier I'm using. We have different types of humidifier. We have uh, a 200 ml. We have one liter. We have five liters. We have ten liters, depending on what you can buy. I don't sell the humidity. Sorry, I, I don't sell the humidifier. They sell it everywhere. But assuming you can't find it, you can contact me. I sell it to you, but I don't sell. Not that I'm the only one selling. No, no, no. There are a lot of people selling the humidifier. But let me show you the kind of humidifier that is suitable for my own breeding facilities. I have different types, so I just use it when I when I notice that the humidity is very low. So let me bring it out. As you can see, very small, but very effective that's it this is another one same size that's another one same size let me put it here yes so as you can see my lovers are doing very well they're doing very well i don't have any mortality because i've gone past that a very long time ago and the good part of it is that even when there's no light you can connect this thing to your power bank. You can connect it to your power bank. I'm going to use uh, I'll plug it inside the socket just for us to see how it is working. So you have to give me some minutes.
so let me show you how it works I just on it here you can see it glowing she's something like flame coming out yes something like flame coming out see that that this is how I introduce water inside the air thereby increasing the humidity of my building facility so far I don't open the windows too much because if you will open the window the, the water inside the air will escape so this is how I increase the humidity of my uh, insectarium and also my larvarium so once again this is Tuka Farms if you yet subscribed to my channel please do it by clicking on the subscription button and also and the notification bell and that's notify you whenever I upload wonderful videos. Thank you, stay blessed, and God bless you.